All right, so let me explain what's going on here. So, right now, I have my mode switch, as you can see, up in the top here. Selectable, two, three. Anyways, let's go back to one. So that's low boost. So there's no real fast way to uh, up the boost if you're running. But um, now I installed this little button here. So let's say number nine is your high boost. So from one flick of the switch, you'll see high boost, low boost, high boost. So it'll stay there until, you know, I decide to turn the switch off and it's still selectable. Let's say all the ways to mine is all the ways to the left, which will be high boost. You see over here is eight and nine. That's high boost. But you know, if I go from zero through nine, I could go rotate this all the ways down to nine. And then boom, high boost. But if I want one, instead of having to rotate, you know, open this up and open this up and go into high boost or sit there and, and turn a dial, you know, I could just boop and high boost. And it doesn't matter what number I'm in. See, I'm in. What is that? Three? Let's say, uh, yeah, let's say four. Four. Hit the switch. Boom. High boost. And go back to whatever the mode switch was set. So if I can uh, make this a little bit more um, understanding. Um, here's a diagram, basically. Um, you have the infinity, and you have the 5-volt supply. This is the mode switch. You got the ground, you got the supply, and then you got the 0 to 5 volt. That's when you select each one of these from... You know, one through whatever. Um, that basically sends different signals, you know, anywhere from zero to five volts. Um, so you can, so you want to, you practically want to have uh, the five volt as high boost, which will be. Like a, like mine is uh, number nine, eight, nine, closer to the top of it. Um, so yeah, uh, so what I did was I took, basically I bypassed the mode switch. That's, that's what's going on here. So instead of the five volts coming out, you know, supplying that, and then this selecting, you know, a specific uh, volt you know I'm just bypassing it all together and at the flick of the switch now I thought of you know is there another way that you could wire this up but it would uh, basically get rid of the functionality of this without this being on for example if I would cut 5 volts off of, let's say I would put 
you know, I would just use the switch to cut 5 volts off and then use the 0 volts as high boost. The problem with that is when you cut it, you know, your switch is off and now you're not supplying anything to here. When you, you'll have to turn this back on. You know, this normally this, oh, the switch that I use, let's say, is normally off. So I wouldn't be able to use that method for this. That's why I use this, because when it's off, when, when this switch is off, my mode switch still works as, as it should. You know, it's selectable, you know, everything's still intact, there's no issues, you know, every, you know every, it works as it should. Now, as soon as I flick that up, all it does is it takes the, the 5 volt and it goes directly here, telling it, boom, high boost. Um, I think this is the better, the better way to do it. I mean, there's other ways, obviously, without the mode switch and, you know, hooking up switches with resistors and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, if you have a mode switch, you know, and, and you, you I, lo I love my mode switch, you know, I love, love riding around and, you know, a low boost, you know, 15, maybe 18 pounds of boost, you know, but if, Anytime you have an issue that you need to immediately flick on high boost, you know, you just flick the switch and boom, you know, the AM Infinity will automatically set your boost up to your max boost, you know, instantly. Um, as you can see in the video, um, you can see that as soon as I flick this switch, you know, it goes from whatever uh, mode it's in, it goes directly to to my nine, uh, my nine setting. Once I turn it off, it goes right back to my stock, to my, my, my original mode switch, you know. You know, turn it back on, it goes to nine. Turn it off, it goes right back to my original mode. You know, there's no tinkering around with anything else. Okay, so I did want to add, um, you can also hook up a momentary switch if if that's a thing for, for whoever wants to do something like that. Um, the momentary switches are usually normally off. So... You know, you'll basically hook it up exactly like this, but instead of having a toggle switch, you'll have a, a on and off switch, a, a button switch. Now you wanna, you want that on and off switch to be somewhere away that you won't bump it. Um, my thing with my switch is it has a cover that basically covers. That's an ugly drawing, but uh, it it covers. The switch so even if I bump it here and there you know it's not gonna automatically go to five to high boost um, so yeah it's basically preference um, I personally would I like this method because you could just flip flip this up and have it ready and you know if you need it you need it if you don't you just close it back down you know you just you know basically i could think about you know i'll flip the cover open you know and see how far you know the competition is if it's far away then you know you close it back down if you if if you see him coming on strong you flick that switch and you make more power um, as opposed to the button which I mean it's basically the same concept but you know it's basically you have to hold it you know hold it in like a nitrous button or whatever you know um, yeah I think I think this is the better method I think I mean 
everyone's different. You know, everyone has their own little, um, a little preference. So, you know, some say, a, some, some would say a switch is better. And some would say a button's better. So, you know, wiring wise though, like wiring wise, this will be the way to go. You know, um, it's not going to hurt anything. It's, it's, it's going to run great. You know, um, you could leave, you could leave that switch on or you could, you know, whatever, you know, but you know, this is just, this is just for high boost. You know, this is basically what this is used for is for high boost. You know, anything happens, you, you shut it off and just, well, you know, you're going right back to using the mode switch, which is awesome. All right, guys. So there you have it. Um, that's basically my version of the high boost button. Um, I mean, it's like I said, it's not hard. It's just two wires you gotta wire up, and you know, it's done. It's set up. You know, um, you just gotta make sure that you set, you know, your five volt. Uh, switch uh the five volt part of your switch you want to make sure you have that at high boost and um <clears throat> yeah once you have that set up boom anytime you set you flip that switch that's that's where you're gonna get you know that boost which is awesome you know um this is a picture of uh my setup um, I put it right next to the shifter. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's close to the shifter. So, you know, it's a comfortable spot. So if I'm, you know, cruising down the road, you know, I, I have my hand close to the shifter already. So, you know, it's right there, convenient. It's a good location. It was a little tight to get in there because, you know, once I drilled into that, that uh plastic right there there's a uh, another piece of plastic right you know like a mounting the mounting clip but you know it worked out i got it just right in there so if, i mean if you had a smaller switch it'll probably be better but these switches that have the covers over them they have a really big uh switch at the bottom of it uh, it's a good switch so you know, I'm not complaining. It's good to have a good switch. Um, and I, I really like the fact that it has a cover on it. That way there's no, oh my god, I bumped it. And you know, you think you're going to be at low boost and you actually mash it. And you know, you push out 30 pounds of boost, you know, it's <laughs> instead. So... You know, it's good that it has a, you, you want to, you want something that has a cover at least, or maybe out of the way that you could just click on it, you know, out of the way. But, um, other than that, yeah, this is it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, for those of you that have already subscribed, I've greatly appreciate it. I will be making more videos uh, summertime. Uh, right now it's cold and it's winter. It's, it's not really all that fun. But um, summertime, we are going to be pumping out a few videos, going to events and stuff like that. So uh, it'll be a better experience.